My hubby came from work five times bigger. It's my kidneys. I got a month to live. To save Steve, I took out lifelong loans. I found a third job and he'd do the same once he recovered. Steve's illness changed him a lot, even his voice and personality. You must love me like this. After all, I put up with you, Chubber. Steve had never behaved this way. He'd never humiliated me before. Saying he was body positive, Steve got even fatter, hairy, and stinkier. As a man, he didn't attract me and didn't want to do anything. You can come back to the bedroom when you lose 220. When I woke up to a terrible odor, I saw Steve. I lost 220 ounces so I can sleep in bed with you again. I almost suffocated under him, but then the floor couldn't bear the weight. My arm hurt terribly and Steve was out cold. I hated both him and myself. His weight destroyed our love. If I'd seen Steve without clothes, I'd have known it wasn't him. Doctor said my arm was broken. They couldn't evacuate Steve. The stretcher wouldn't fit through the door. We need permission to tear down the wall. Her family nest was crumbling right in front of me. My marriage was ruined when Steve got obese. Both his legs were broken, so I couldn't leave him now. I spent days and nights at his bedside caring for him. But as soon as he got back on his feet, I'd file for divorce right away. I was tired of being a sitter and disgusted to touch him. Wipe me good and dry. I'm tired and want to sleep. I overcame disgust and wiped his every fold. That's when I saw an appendectomy scar. My husband had never had surgery. I called the cops. Let me go. I'm a poor, miserable orphan. In foster care, Kurt learned of his twin brother and followed him. He envied Steve for having a home, a job, and a wife. Determined to take Steve's place, he kidnapped him after his night shift. But after an accident, Steve lost his memory. Kurt then exchanged both IDs and lives with him. I cursed myself for falling out of love with my husband, and you were never him. I deserve a good life too, and I needed surgery. Destiny gave my brother everything while I worked as a janitor. It's not fair. There was a half-ruined shack at Kurt's address. Steve wasn't there. The neighbor said he'd moved out. Living Kurt's life, Steve went from janitor to deputy director. When Steve saw me, his memory came back to him. Kurt finally realized it wasn't all fate, but his laziness. Steve kept his new job and our marriage became stronger. Kurt is serving a fair sentence for fraud. Can laziness and self-neglect be justified with body positivity?